Hello everyone, I'm Dong Min Lee, who is studying PhD in University of Vienna in Professor Bonifazi group. Electrochemical cells, which are called also batteries, require three factors, two electrodes and one electrolyte. Cathodes and anodes are the two electrodes. Cathodes want to take electrons and anodes want to provide electrons. In this lemon battery experiment, cathode will be used with a copper and zinc will be used as an anode. This is because copper is more electronegative than zinc. However, since electron cannot travel from the zinc to copper directly, we use lemon, which is an electrolyte in this experiment. Electron only can travel through the ionic solution. So in this case, we're using lemon citric acid. When zinc is exposed to the acid in the lemon juice, the acid oxidizes or removes electrons from the zinc. The resulting positively charged zinc ions move in the solution. The resulting electrons are collected in the metal and then rush across the copper bar, which is more electronegatively than zinc. Those electrons now in the copper pull a couple of protons or hydrogen ions out of the acid and reduce them by adding electrons. The electricity is not from the lemon, but from a chemical reaction between zinc and copper because of a different electronegativity between the two metals. So, this is uh, what we need for lemon battery experiment. Electronic wire, metal bars, one is copper, the other one is zinc. Electrometers to check a voltage. And lemons. First step is squeeze the lemon by rolling on the table to make a juice inside. And plug zinc bar into the lemon. Also plug the copper bar on the other side into the lemon. We want to check how much voltage can be generated by one lemon by using this electrometer. To connect wire onto the copper bar and zinc bar separately and connect with electrometer. It generates 0.9 volts. Let's see how much voltage can be generated with the two lemons. When it connects this, you have to make it in series. It generates 1.9 volts. For the three lemons, it generates 2.9 volts. So for the each lemon, it can generate one volt. When it is connected, it goes to zero and reconnected, then we coming back to 2.9 volts. Here we can see how this electrical stimulation is able to move electrons from one layer to the other of the device. Thus, the electrons pushed by the voltage given by the lemon battery will go to one layer that will announce color while the other will lose it. In the same way, when the polarity will be inverted, you can see it from plus and minus signs in red and black, the electron will come back again in the previous layer and the color will be inverted once again. These devices are called electrochromic due to their capacity to change color applying voltage. On both layers, an electrochromic material is deposited. Two layers have complementary geometry. On one layer, there is a square with a hole in the middle. On the other layer, there is a square of the same size as the previous hole placed exactly in the center. In this second experiment, the voltage produced by the lemon battery has been used to switch on a small red LED. Great, it worked! Thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon. Goodbye! Goodbye.